Hi, this is JP here at Brizzy. Another video in our beginner's corner, something that may help you on your way to creating your website within WordPress and with Brizzy. We've worked with posts. We've looked at how to create posts and what posts are for. We also had a look at how to change the post URL slug, the permalink. But here's the question. If I look at my site and a visitor comes to my site, where do they find these posts? I mean, I've created them, but where are they? And here comes a little difficult concept at the beginning that you have to also get in your head very soon so you can begin to understand how posts work. It's something that you will use a lot in the future and it may confuse you at the beginning. So of course, like the title of this video, archive page. Now, archive makes you think of something old, something that has been filed away, but that is not entirely the case what we mean when we talk about an archive page. An archive page is like a catalog page. You have these posts and your archive page will make a list of all those posts so that people, when they come to your website, they actually go to your archive page. And from there, they can click on the individual posts and then read them from there. Where do you get this archive page? It's already there. And that is the difficult concept to understand. That is the whole way that WordPress works. It's already there, but you need to create a page and assign it to this archive page. Let's go have a look at how to do that. And I urge you to really remember this one and practice it maybe a few times so that you can be very familiar how to set the archive page within your WordPress site. This is what I've been talking about. I've got my page here and I've got some posts, but how do I display them here? Do I need to add one, two, three posts? No, for that I'm going to use an archive page. So let's go into the administration area. And what we need to do is to create a page that will be used as the archive page. So go here to pages, all pages. And currently we have all these pages that we are using for our website. We have to create a new page and we're going to call this page anything that we want. For example, I'm going to call it news. That is what my page is for. All the news will appear on this page. You're going to publish it. And once it has been published, then it is done. Let's go back to our pages. We go to news here and we click on view. Uh, where are those posts that we want to click on and see them? The problem is, just like our home page that we had created, WordPress has no idea that this page is the one you want to use for your posts archive. You have to go and tell WordPress how to do that. And do you remember where we do that? Aha, uh -huh, within the settings. So we go back into our administration area and then here in the navigation sidebar, go to settings and over here, reading. Click on that. And then again here, it says your home page displays. And we chose a static page and we set it to home. And under that, you will see the posts page. From here, we select and we choose which of these pages will become our posts archive page. And if you still don't know what a post archive page is, don't worry, because once I make this setting, we're going to view it. You'll begin to say, aha, I get it. So let's choose news, save changes. And then we go again to our pages and over here, news, click on view to see how it will look. And now you see those three posts that we have created appear here. So from here, you can click on spicy butternut soup deluxe, and it will take you to your post on spicy butternut soup deluxe. Down here, you can navigate to the other posts. But how do people who come to your site find this archive page. If I click here in the top in my navigation on home, where do I find that archive page? And what you do here is exactly what we had done when we had created this menu. You're going to go back into your menu and you're going to add this news page to your menu. Let's do that. Go back into the administration area and menu you will find under appearance and here menu. Let's click on that. This is the menu that we had created, home menu recipes, and then apple pie as a drop down, about and contact. So let's add news here. Most recent, do you see news there? If you don't see it, you go to view all. And here you will see over there, news. 
click on it and click to add menu. We want to put it between about and contact, so click and hold and drag it until it's between about and contact and let go. Save the menu. And now you can go to the front end, simply click here, and you will see the news area appears here, which is your blog, your post. Now when a visitor clicks on that, they will go into the archive page and they will find all the posts here. Great. And that's how you set that. There is quite a lot more regarding this. And this also depends a lot about themes. So check the next video where we talk about themes and how different themes in WordPress will affect how your post archive page will look, how it will work, and even how those individual posts will display. Hope this was useful. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next one. I'm JP signing off.